I think they're chomping at the bit to wreak havoc throughout the NFL. I think they know that as they stand here right now, they should be two-time reigning defending Super Bowl champions if it wasn't for the stupidest call in NFL history as far as I'm concerned. And I think that they're going to be on a kind of mission people think Tom Brady's going to be on. Had Tom Brady been suspended and ultimately came back, uh, that would be different. But with Tom Brady back and having not missed a game, I think the the – the, the, the highest, the, the most highly motivated, rather, is going to be the Seattle Seahawks. I think the Legion of Boom will be ready. I think the acquisition uh, of Jimmy Graham as your tight end, along with Lockett at the wide receiver spot, the Doug Baldwins of the world, and then when you look at Beast Mode coming out of the backfield, I think the combination of all of those things leaves Seattle still standing as the team to be. And I think they will be on a hellacious mission. And anybody who gets in their way is going to get annihilated when it counts most. I mm. think that the Seattle Seahawks will win the Super Bowl title. Mm -hmm. I want to stall making my pick, so I'm going to get Mark to critique Stephen A's pick. Okay. Could you respond, well, please? Listen, the Seattle Seahawks are a great football team. We all know that. Let me tell you about winning championships. Let me tell you about winning back-to-back -back championships. One of the things that's very hard about winning back-to-back -back championships or going to back-to-back -back Super Bowls and continuing that kind of incredible run mm -hmm. is I always likened it to going to the dump. See, now I've worked physical labor my whole life, mm -hmm. okay? That's what I did as a kid. Mm -hmm. So I used to have to go as a construction worker and make dump runs. Mm -hmm. I would go to the dump to dump the garbage and dump all the scraps. I would always keep certain things that were good for throwing and at the end of my dump run, I would throw things at the seagulls, right? Because all the seagulls are hovering over all the garbage. Mm -hmm. They love well, that. Was this in Alaska? They love that. Yeah, this is in Alaska. That's why okay? So here's the deal. When you have that kind of mm -hmm. success, guess what you are? You're the garbage at the dump, and 31 other teams are those seagulls hovering over the dump trying to pick your scraps up. And what happens to you as a football team is, one, you have to pay guys. So there's certain guys you can't pay. You've got to pay the Russell Wilsons of the world, so there's certain guys That's that you right. can't come with contracts with. All of a sudden, people within that organization get disgruntled. Listen, man, I had as much to do with that championship as him, Cam Chancellor. Mm -hmm. I had as much to do here. And, and so eventually what ends up happening, you, you lose a couple guys. You lose a cornerback <laughs> out of the Legion of Boom. All of a sudden, you lose a couple special teams players. You lose the glue that holds things together within a locker room. And what ends up happening is eventually you get weakened. Know that are key because mm -hmm. they are, like I said, that glue that bonds a locker room together, and eventually it weakens you to the point where you don't go back to back championships. You don't go back to a Super Bowl. So I don't think they're going to a Super Bowl. Um, I think that division is the toughest division of football. Arizona gets Carson Palmer back. I think the Rams are going to be a much better football team. Obviously, there's a ton of turnover with San Francisco. Um, we look at them and we think, ah, they're going to be, they're going to struggle. That defense, I think that defense is going to be better than people think. This is a tough division. I don't think Seattle, Seattle make. And I can't even remember because it, it, the preseason is irrelevant now. I mean, we, the first two games of the season really become the preseason. Teams don't game plan anymore. Teams don't play anybody anymore. It's really hard to get a good feel on who's what and, and you know, where teams are going. But I, I'm going to go the Green Bay Packers, even without Jordy Nelson, mm -hmm. representing the NFC. And I think I'll go the Patriots just because Tom Brady. And, and I think this is a uh, – this will be another, like, 2007, the, hey, you know, I'm going to cram it down your know. throat kind of tour of the New England Patriots after Spygate. This is – we're going to – this is the deflate tour – of, of 2015, we're going to deflate every NFL team that we come across because so, we're so sick. So, do they go to the dump up. and hit the seagulls <laughs> and, and win it all? Is uh, that I, I think I'm going to take the Green Bay Packers. I think, I think you look at what happened to them in the NFC Championship game, I believe, against the Seattle Seahawks, where they had that game won and they, they sat on their hands and, and they made a couple of mistakes. Aaron Rodgers was terrible the second half. And I look at that. You know two I and think, four in the playoffs. Yeah. I didn't know if you knew. Yeah. What's that? Nothing. Aaron Rodgers two, two and four in the playoffs. playoffs since the Super Bowl. Yeah, well, I think a long I think time ago. I think they are the more motivated football team. I think they go to the World Championship game and I think they win it.
We'll be back in a minute.